Hello everybody, it's Several Tool 4 for another episode of Final Fantasy 7. In the last episode, we raided the Shinor headquarters yet again, got a bunch of cool stuff, uh, saw a bunch of wacky localization errors that actually weren't my fault, and also we got the Behemoth Horn. I showed that at the end of the last episode, um, I don't know if you guys saw it, but yeah. here we go, Behemoth Horn is for, uh, red th uh, Frozen Red 13, and, uh, Master Fist says power up when condition changes, I think that means that Tiffa gets powered up when she gets uh, hurt or whatever. Uh, the Pile Banger is short range, and the Glow Lance slash Grow Lance that Wade has has absolutely no effect from the Partisan except for the fact that it has two more attack percentage uh, points. So, you know, it goes from 100 to 102 percent. So, Yay? <laughs> I don't know. It's really stupid. I'm just gonna heal up a bit here. You know, I'll just use uh, Restore Materia. I'm gonna heal up because we are... Oh, I forgot that I could do all there. Stupid! Because we're going to be coming up to a boss fight, and if you're not prepared for this boss fight, then it can be a difficult boss fight. Boss fight, boss fight, boss fight, boss fight. I like saying boss fight. I have no idea how long this episode is going to be because I am recording it a bit late in the day. It's uh, almost 3 o'clock and uh, you know, on the day that I'm supposed to be uploading it, I have a lot of chores to do today and hopefully I'll be able to, to, to get this up in time. You know, I never noticed it before, but the, the animation for uh, for Marcellus running is really, like when you're running away from the battle, it's just really, really funny. But anyway, this is a part of the game we haven't really seen before. Uh, you just have to climb this tower over here. And go this way, and... What the hell is that? Hey, you, you serious? Boom! Yeah, that's pretty big. Here they come! Oh, I'm sorry. So they really showed up. That's right, it's Heidegger. And. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> it's like, whoa! <laughs> you sure did treat us like dogs up to now? You killed off a lot of my precious soldiers! <laughs> Let's see how you do against anti-weapon artillery! You guys are worthless for my proud creationist sure thing! <coughs> oh no, he ate them! That's right, we get a boss fight. I'll show you the destructive power of the Proud Clod! Proud Clod? Cattle Prod? Something like that? I don't think it's the Cloud Prod. I don't think it's like a, a mess up. But we don't even get boss music for this. Even though this boss can be pretty damn tough. Uh, let's sense it. There's two parts actually. There's the Jamar Armor. Jamar Armor? Really? <laughs> Wait, let's, uh, let's check out Dragon now. Jamar Armor level 62, 20,000 health! Uh, you want to attack that first because aside from the fact that it gets rid of um, you know, one of the attacks it has, uh, it, it's actually not too bad, it's pretty cool. It also just, it it's, uh, makes the, it, bleh. it gives defense for the Proud Clod, so it's a good idea to, to attack that just to get rid of the Proud Claw's defense, pretty much. Oh, couldn't sense. Yeah, some enemies now you can't sense. Uh, Stratocaster one asked me if it's something to do with the level in Materia. Uh, I'm not really sure. Actually, I'm not sure what the level... I believe the, the Cloud Prod has... Cloud Prod? I'm gonna call it that. The, cla the Proud Clod has something like uh, 60,000 health. I could be wrong. You know, I don't think I ever showed you guys Flare. Um, we could take a look at this actually. Very strong ice magic sometimes causes stop. Earth magic causes petrify. Wind causes confuse. And flare, which is just really powerful. I guess I'll try out flare. Um, I have nothing better to do with my time than to just use my all powerful attacks on them. If you have a certain uh, boss and material you can use in them, obviously they're since they're boss, they're not you know weak to this type of stuff. But uh, they're not weak to uh, to 
susceptible to thing of above. So I probably should use big guard before anything else. Let's try to ultima on them because we can. And yeah, I, I think that the the proud clad is 60,000 health. I'm not sure though. But yeah, they can be a tough fight. This is the final fight against Heidegger and uh, I was about to say Shara and Scarlet. And if you're not prepared, it could be really bad. I didn't see how much Flare did because I wasn't looking, so I'm going to do it again. Because I can. And I don't want to target my own team members. How much does that do? Eh. Could be better. Could be better, I'm not going to lie. Just I really don't like using Neo Bahamut. You guys have no idea. I just I hate it so much. Okay, not bad. Flare is actually pretty good. Let's try Comet 2 on them. You just shot fire out of your knee, you realize that? Since we have Mighty Guard up, these guys are kind of pathetic. <laughs> Missing. I mean, I, I don't really need to heal, and I'll probably beat these guys before, like, anybody gets close to dying. It's... Considering that it's a boss fight this late in the game, I really think that, that it's pathetic. <laughs> Now let's, let's cast Regen. That'd probably be a good idea. Uh, let's see what we got here. That's interesting. I want to see what uh, all the question marks do. I never really used that one, actually. To tell you guys the truth. Let's try out Trine. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> I love it when it attack. I don't want to. don't want to. Yeah, it's annoying that I have to keep, un like, I have to keep, like, targeting him. That did a lot of damage, wow. The Proud Clod is really weak to, to lightning, it seems. Okay, I have to remember that. You, you have both three million. Oh, there goes the, uh, there goes the armor. See, now it's, uh, exposed. So, you have Rama? Yeah. Okay. Rama Lama Ding Dong? No. No. You shall use trying again. That that worked out really well. And uh, Proud Claude, yeah, has 60,000 health. Awesome. It apparently it's not weak to lightning, but that did a lot of damage last I saw. So I'm going to attack it with lots and lots of 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 lotsiness. Okay, that that did very little damage. Unless what I saw was only like. A small amount, and, and I was actually fooling myself, but... Oh, okay, I thought it just said 7,000, but I was wrong. Now I could just attack it and attack it and attack it. Oh, you got his limit up. You must be proud of yourself. You must be really proud of yourself. Now he's going to attack you with his high pot jump. Where's dragon time? Or whatever his jump is. Now I'll use dragon on it. What's the worst that can happen? You know, you see the world explodes or something. This boss is, I, I have to say, uh, it's disappointing. As as Heidegger and Scarlet's uh, final hurrah, it's really disappointing. Um, you know, you don't see them again. I like how it steals MP also, that's pretty awesome. It, you don't see these two again. <clears throat> and it's... You know, after all the like the <clears throat> the good times that we had with them over the course of the game and stuff, it's disappointing that that the the proud clod is is so pathetic. I mean, look how much damage he's doing to us—barely anything. I bend my knee to you. I'll see how much that's at two hundred. I'm not even going to get to use Catastrophe on this guy. Maybe I should just wait out the battle to have them uh, attack Marcellus until he gets Catastrophe. I mean, it's it's pathetic. It really is. And now that I use Big Guard, he's going to get even less damage. I'm just going to do straight up attacks. That's doing the most damage as of now. It takes a lot less uh, animation time. I know it's, it's boring, but... I mean... The, the game itself acknowledges the fact that these guys stink because it's not even giving us the boss music. 
I hope that's not a glitch or something, but... Like, seriously. This giant machine, it's dead. Giant machine, four arms, claws everywhere. Oh, no, it's not dead. It's just getting ready to fire a laser at us. And it's it's embarrassing. Like, this, this represents Shinra's very last uh, force. And... You know, we couldn't even defeat the diamond weapon. We haven't... Uh, whenever a weapon attacked us, so far, we've just... You know, it hasn't done much. Like, we haven't done much to it. We've, we've only been able to stop it. And this is supposed to be their weapon fighting gear. You know, it, it's... It's pathetic. That's it. That's it. It, it doesn't even die in the battle. Although... We do get a bleep ton of AP, so that's great. Titan, Ice was born, Fire was born, something else, and we get the Ragnarok, which is a weapon for Cloud, so the end of the battle was definitely the best part, and now they'll explode in a flash, I guess. Not dead! This is the Proud Cloud! <laughs> There's not even any wreckage! What kind of explosion was that? And now it starts raining. I have to admit, that is that is a good touch there. Let's check out our new weapon. Heaven's Cloud. Uh, Ragnarok is a bit stronger, and it's all linked, so may as well equip it. Uh, it's not much better, but uh, it's nice that the things are linked now, because now, you know, if you want to do added effect contain, that's always fun to do, actually. Added effect contain. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do, actually, you have fire that's a master now. I'm gonna take that off of Cloud. And... And I'm going to give him the unmastered one. Uh, and you... Double cut. I will give him added effect contain because... That is, uh, actually very, very good because it can either cast stop, petrify, uh, confuse, or whatever. So, yeah. And what did I take off to put on that? Double cut. Okay. Cool. Let's go forward. Uh, we have a little bit of time left in this episode. Let's see if we can go left or right. No. Let's just go straight. Like I said, Marcellus, in your party, you will regret it otherwise. Oop. Treasure chests. Miss Style. I believe is a battle item and elixir. Let's check out that mistile because I don't remember what it is. I think I have more than one already, so it shouldn't be it. Oh no. No, it's not. Okay, it's a uh, quip item. Cool. Let's check that out before I finish off the episode. The Zydrick. Oh my god, we have so many of those. <laughs> uh, if it didn't have any, if it had slots, it would be really awesome because look at the defense it gives you. It's even better than the Adamant Bagel. Bagel. Even though there are no slots. But yeah, mistile. Uh, it's just more defense. Escort guard is good because it nullifies, you know, that everything, almost. Not everything, but an awesome. Imperial guard, uh, I guess I could try that out. Or the crystal bagel. No, the crystal bagel's better. How about the imperial guard? No, the imperial guard's better too. Okay, so the missile happens to suck, I guess. Or Cloud's escort guard happens to suck, but I really like its uh, effects, yeah. No. <laughs> anyway, this has been Sephiroth Level 4 with a uh, disappointing episode of Final Fantasy 7. Um, I mean, I, I can't say that it's... I, I like I like the, the boss, I like the like the, the whole presentation of how they did Heidegger and, and uh, Scarlet, you know, coming to fight you at that last, uh, you know, that last bit over there, but... It's just... Oh, I do have tents! Huh! Thought I didn't. But it's just really disappointing that their last fight against you is so... So lackluster. It's... 
it's not even a- it's I'm not even over-leveled, like, you can be over-leveled here if you're in the 60s or 70s, you know, it's possible to be that, but I'm not even over-leveled here. And... I have a lot of materia on me that, that, uh, like, the summon materias that, you know, debilitate me, and despite all that, it really... The battle was, was a joke, I only had to heal once. All their attacks were barely doing anything, and granted, I was, you know, I was pretty prepared. You know, I had big guard and, and all sorts of other stuff, but they didn't even get Cloud or Marcellus to, to their limit breaks. I mean, come on. Anyway, in the next episode, we're finally going to... Actually, we might get to Hojo. It's very possible. But anyway, this has been Several Told 4 with Final Fantasy VII. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.